Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Photo 5 Mods video. Today in Grand Photo 5, we're gonna be playing as firefighters with the Polito Bay Fire Department, and we have a wide range of vehicles to use behind us. We're probably gonna be taking out the mini engine today. This is truck number one on a Ford chassis. It's a little mix of a rescue truck and a engine, and it's really cool. We can use this for things such as small fires or fires that are in places that are hard to reach. We also got engine number Number one, the big boy for any bigger jobs that we have. And we also have the chief who is currently busy working on some administrative work right now. So he's not out here. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And as always, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All units, we have a wildfire in all right, guys, we have our first call coming in. Sounds like it's going to be a wildfire just south of our location. So we will be responding with engine number one. Oh, we got smoke showing, guys. Heavy smoke pushing out of the forest. And I'm about to get pushed by engine one. Back up a little bit. Give us some space. Oh my goodness, I feel like we're gonna get in an accident. All right, slow down, buddy. Okay, we're gonna have to go in here. Looks like it's near the lumber yard. Oh, it's not too high up in the mountains. At first, I thought it was gonna be all the way up there or something like that. Watch out, bunnies. All right, truck one and engine one are going to be on scene. Looks like we have a small area of brush burning. So let's see if we could knock it out. We forgot our brush fire turnout, so I'm going to have to wear my regular turnouts for this. But we're going to grab our line and turn on the pump here. And let's go to work. So it looks like we have a pretty small area, so we should be able to contain this. Oh yeah, we gotta turn up the water pressure. Alright, we have water on the fire. And we wanna try to contain this to this area so that the whole forest does not burn down. I think we may be able to knock it out with just our water. We don't even need the big engine for this one. Now we used about two thirds of our water supply. Looks like this is going to be the last area here. Oh, no, there's some more below us. Partner, I do not think you're using that fire extinguisher correctly. Oh, wow, we did end up using all of our water, but it looks like the fire is out and it's going to be under control. So we'll pack up this line and we'll be ready for the next call. We've got assistance needed on a Great Ocean Highway for Bronco 3. 10 for dispatch, you can show truck one in route. So it looks like we have a report of a unconscious person. They may be dehydrated and we're going to respond to that code. Three. Now for this call, we don't need the bigger engine. We have everything we need on this smaller truck, so we'll just respond with whoa with this one. Looks like they're gonna be right up here on the mountain. All right, truck one, you can show us on scene. So we have a witness here. Let's talk to them and see what's going on. Did you see what happened, ma'am? Looked like he was possibly hiking. Hello, ma'am. Were you with the injured hiker? Yes, I was. Guy said guy was really thirsty and wasn't feeling the best before. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so that was completely off. I couldn't even say that properly. Okay, thank you for the information. Please stand by. I was gonna try to do a like a impersonation for her, but I couldn't even read that. All right, so I'm gonna get out our medical bag and we're gonna do a assessment on this guy and see what's going on with him. Looks like he uh, passed out. So you know what? Let's see if we can get him up first. So maybe CPR since he's not breathing. Okay, we got him up. Perfect. The pet is alive. All right, so now we are going to just do a quick vital, or I'm sorry, an injury assessment on him. 
and he somehow has third degree burns which doesn't make sense but that's okay we will treat it anyway so we need to give him some saline on those wounds of his maybe it's a really sunny day he just got burnt up that's probably what happened we're gonna go ahead and give him some bandages and we believe he is dehydrated so we are going to uh, probably start some IVs it says the patient is now stable for transport so we will request a ambulance for him and once the ambulance gets here they could transport him and we will be back in service oh that was a quick response hey, you're ready wow all right we have one patient Mel uh, he does have a IV line in him right now um, everything else he was stable that doesn't really make sense what I just said. Everything else here was stable. Oh boy. All right, throw him in the back of the ambulance and we gonna go ahead and get out of here, guys. Let's go, partner. <laughs> partner is like holding her at gunpoint. All units, we have a vehicle on fire in the Chile Mountain State Forest. Uh. Okay, we're just going further and further into the forest today, guys. So now we have a report of a vehicle fire. Let's see if we can save the car and make sure no one is burning. We already got one person injured with third degree burns. We don't want anybody else to get hurt today. Oh. Boy went the wrong way. What is this car even doing on this trail? This is like a walkway trail. And he's not even in like a off-road vehicle or anything too. Now, I don't want that thing to roll down on us, so I'm not gonna park below it. I'm gonna try to park above it. I seen a video like that when the vehicle like rolled into the fire truck so let's not have that happen to us oh fire go 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 now we gotta do this fast line turn on the pump turn on the water oh it's spreading guys the fire is spreading fast oh i don't know if i can save this car it's about to turn into a wildfire don't blow up don't blow up don't blow up okay i think we got it I don't even have my SCBA on. We just jumped into action. Partner, put away your gun. Why are you using your gun? We're fighting fires. Did you not read the title of today's video? Firefighter Mud. All right, this thing is not going out. I think we're going to switch to foam. And let's see if we can Jesus. put it out with some foam. Oh, the foam gets on the cars. Look at that. You're yes. OK, look at that, guys. So that's actually a new to the fire call out, so you can now use foam, at least in the beta version. That is very, very cool. Okay, so got the fire out. It did burn a little bit of this area, but it basically just burned itself out. So we are all good. We can put the hose away and we'll head back to the firehouse. You know, we also should get a tow truck out here too. I don't even know if we can even. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also, hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. And check me out over on Facebook as well. Make sure you guys are following me over there. And also, if you want to download any of these mods, you can find them on my website, acepilot2k7.com. Um, as well as tutorials and exclusive videos. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!